Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Empowering Word. I'm Pastor Ken Brown. I am thankful that you joined me today. Today we are going to be continuing our kind of our ongoing series of praying the Bible. And uh, today we're going to be reading Psalm 150. It's a praise. It's a uh, an ascent to praise. And it's kind of the capstone uh, psalm uh, to all the psalms. It's the, it's the last psalm in the book of Psalms. And so uh, let's just let's just enter into this to this uh, to this scripture today and, and let's pray the Bible. Uh, will you with me today? Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Friends, what an exciting psalm. What, a, what an exuberant praise to God. You know, what's fascinating here is in the Hebrew and, and probably even in some of your, your Bibles and some of your texts, this is the NIV that I'm reading from today, but it begins with this word, hallelujah. Really, when we say praise the Lord, it is, it is a connection to hallelujah. And when you declare hallelujah, you are literally speaking Hebrew. Uh, if you didn't know that, there's your Hebrew word for the day, hallelujah. Hallelujah is really uh, two words combined into one kind of phraseology. It begins with hallel, and then there's this dynamic of uh, the, the hallelujah, if you will, which is praise. And then there's this, there's this other part of yah, which is, again, kind of going back to the names of God that we were learning. It is the foreshortened version of Yahweh. So when we basically declare praise the Lord or hallelujah, we are declaring praise the Lord. It is an imperative command to praise. So friends, today as we, as we pray the Bible, as we pray this psalm, there is a declaration of the hallelujah. Let, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And so what's fascinating here is that there's this idea where it begins in this, in this process of recognizing where God is and where he needs to be praised and to whom he is. He's, he's in his sanctuary. He's in the heavens. And so we declare his, his greatness because he is great, because he is enthroned in the heavenlies, in his sanctuary. And then there's this dynamic of why we should praise him. So there's this dynamic of who he is because he's in the heavenlies. He's in his sanctuary. He's enthroned there because he is God. And this is now why we should praise him. We praise him for his acts of power and for his surpassing greatness. And then there's this dynamic where all of a sudden it breaks into a, 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 an explanation of what, we, what, should we, what should we praise him with? Well, I'm going to praise him with, with the sound of the trumpet and, and with a harp and with, and, and with a timbrel. You know, the, you know it's, 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 like a, it's like a Pentecostal service with a tambourine. It's just, I'm going to praise him with a timbrel. I'm going to praise him with dancing. I'm going to be exuberant in my praise to God. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. It's loud. It's, it's, it's boisterous. And there's this dynamic, it's this resounding symbols, not just one clash, but multiple clashes. And it concludes with this idea of let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Friends, today, this is, this is more than just uh, 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 an exuberant psalm. This is, this is a, a dynamic of how we should live our lives, that our, our lives should be a praise unto God because of who he is and that we praise him because of what he is and who and, and what he does for us, for his great works, for his miracle working power. We praise him because of his surpassing greatness. And what do we praise him with? If you have breath, you should be praising the Lord. So the command today to us is hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
So let's pray this prayer today. Let's pray this psalm. Let's be involved in this dynamic of praying the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we declare praise the Lord. We praise you today. Lord, we give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. You are worthy of it all. Lord, you are enthroned in the heavens. Lord, you are the, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And we declare you are Lord today. We declare your goodness, your greatness, your all-surpassing power. Lord, you are the life giver. You are the life changer. Lord, you are the way maker. Lord, you are the one that made a way where there was no way. Lord, you are the one that came Lord, and died on the cross for me, that I might have salvation, that I may have life. Lord, you made a way for me. And Lord, today I praise you for your greatness, for your great works. Lord, I declare today with the breath of my body, with the breath of my being, with all that I am, Lord, let my life be an everlasting praise to you. Lord, everything in me, my breath, my very life breath, Lord, may, may the words of my mouth be pleasing to you. May, the, may the, the, the works of my hands be pleasing to you. Lord, let everything that I am be a fragrant offering of praise to you because of your greatness. Today, Lord, we just declare upon the earth, Lord, a, a, a declarative of hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. If there is breath in our bodies, let us praise you with all that we are. Lord, we declare the hallelujah in our lives. We declare the praise the Lord. We declare the great I am, that you are not the great I was, that you are no, not in, in, locked in some history book or some past revelation. But Lord, we can re, be, be, be encountering your presence and the reality of who you are, even now, even today. And because of that, because we can enter into your throne room, because we have eternal life through your son, because we have life, Life even today and your kingdom is coming even now and your will is being manifest on the earth. And in so doing, Lord, we have much to give praise to you today. Lord, we give you praise. We give you all the praise. Lord, let our lives continue to do that. We pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you today. Amen. Friends, if you aren't encouraged... After praying this psalm, I'm telling you, if you're discouraged, if you're dissatisfied, if you're anything other than encouraged, listen, you need to praise the Lord. The word says that God inhabits the praises of his people. It means that he dwells in the praises of his people. If you're feeling afar off from God, I got to tell you, switch the script. Stop complaining. Stop looking at your circumstances. Begin to praise him for who he is and for what he has done in your life. Not for what he hasn't done or what you haven't seen come to fruition, but begin to praise him for what has come to fruition. What is being birthed? What fruit is there? Begin to praise him because he's worthy of all praise. Don't, don't be dissed by the devil, if you will. Don't be discouraged or dissatisfied. Rather, find your satisfaction and your courage in the person that can give courage to you. Friends, today, let us live empowered by this word. Let us live empowered by the hallelujah in Jesus' name.